The boos are back! The boos are back! The boos are back in town! It's been a while, guys. I admit it. I slapped my my very own wrist. I got a little busy. Thank you, Lord. He hath sent down a job from the heavens, and I got to do the coolest musical called Pretty Filthy about the LA porn industry, and it was based on interviews, and we recorded a cast album, and then I went out to Houston for a little bit to work on a show I've done before called LMNOP. I also did this really cool concert. If you wake up and you wanna break up, that's cool. No one won't pay you. It was fun. Don't worry guys, don't fret. I'm once again unemployed on the old breadline, as it were. Uh, ooh, breadline. Uh, here's the thing. Being unemployed as an actor today kind of sucks. I think you used to get, like back in the depression, I think you used to get free bread. I can't go to Trader Joe's and ask for, you know, a, a rosemary loaf and expect not to pay for it. No, I got a bartend at a gay bar. I've started a business. I'm offering affordable audition taping. A lot of auditions now are being cast off of tapes for TV, for film, for theater, for cruises. I will come to your home and I will be your reader. Professional lighting, professional backdrop. If you need a reel made, a, a TV or film reel or a musical theater reel, and if you need help putting one together and don't wanna have to pay a ton of money, I'm offering affordable video making. Leslie Margarita's here, star of Matilda, Olivier Award winner for Zora. Enjoy! Welcome to the show! Leslie Margarita is joining us this week! We're in her beautiful apartment. She's doing a, a toe lift. What, what's that, what's that a foot raise? Toe touch? Or is that when they do that? I'm just... A toe touch is the jump. That That's you know. that. So... That's just like a kick. Like a... Kabam! <laughs> oh, fuck me. Husband. Sorry, guys. In the beginning, I thought, like, when we met, he didn't want to date an actress um, because we're all nuts. <laughs> <laughs> um, you were I saying like that. I'm, I look tired. What? Are you tired? <laughs> Long night? I'm always tired. Look, it's Star Wars Day, which is why. Is that why the May the 4th be with you? Yes. Is it what? Is that a lisp joke? Fourth be with you? No. Just, I don't appreciate that. I don't think people with sibilant S's are gonna appreciate that joke. It's too bad. It's Star Wars Day! <laughs> are you a Star Wars fan? Even? Oh my god! You are. You are. Okay, 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 okay. A week ago I was on vacation. Do you know where I was? <laughs> Tell me. The Star Wars convention. <laughs> <laughs> like, we plan our, we had stormtroopers at our wedding. We cut our cake with lightsabers. We had a beautiful string quartet playing the Imperial March as he came. All wearing down Chewbacca the aisle. costumes. <laughs> no! Could you imagine? Oh like, like, California. California. Fremont, California. Yeah, I New lived people. on a cattle ranch. Which means cows. <laughs> cows. <laughs> the cows were there. And they grazed, they ate. They ate. Did they... you name them? Did you have relationships with them? I, I I used to do shows with them. Who's surprised? No one. Oh, our little starlet. Um, she was doing shows um, with cows. But like... then I would eat them the next day. Mm. That's an intricate and upsetting relationship between a girl and a cow. A lot of cows still you... today. <laughs> You built up their trust, say I'm the cow. I'm thinking, here's a nice little girl who wants to do a show with me. I think I can trust her now. But they upstage me and then... And then she like, eats them and then they're cheeseburgers. Yeah. And all the other cows are too dumb to know the difference. It's just different cows these days. <laughs> Let's, I need to focus on this whole thing. What yeah. shows were you... What were you just singing, actually? Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. What kind of show would you do with, say, the cow on the farm? I used to pretend to be, like, different country singers. No siblings? I do. I have three older sisters, but they were um, much older when I was No little. time to do shows with little Leslie, no. who does no. a cow who can't argue. Yeah. A cow can't who can't speak. say no. Can't say lines. <laughs> they can moo indignantly, but they cannot say no. No lines. I had them all. <laughs> Today's my day off. You earned it. It was a long week. It was. An eight show week is no week fucking no joke. joke. No, not at all. I like, realize that more and more every day that I'm not working and that I'm unemployed. <laughs> that eight <laughs> shows no must either. be very hard. That's no joke either. <laughs> every eight, day I'm not working. No I think, eight shows a week. Like? I think it's harder. And and the the tax man knocks more urgently at your you door. Did. Just put lipstick on. Everything will be fine. That's is man's that your answer? <laughs> Just a minute. <laughs> That's a fucking Olivier, ladies and gentlemen. I've never had an Olivier Award win. I've had Tony winners, but guess what? I've learned that British is always a little fancier, A little isn't fancier. It? I think it's because I died on stage. It was an amazing death, too. It was like center stage. And if <gasps> they, um, if he shot me a little too, if I got too far off center, I would like scoot back and die center. 
carried yes. off, people crying. Yes, the cleavage is just in yes, the right place. <laughs> and they threw that fucking Olivier at your head when they saw that. They said, just take it. <laughs> but that was shocking. I did not think that was gonna happen. Who were you against? Who'd you beat? There was a guy from the Kaj. Mm -hmm. There was somebody from a show called Marguerite. You I beat a crossdresser. You, you beat a French person, it sounds <laughs> like. In what? circles. I'm burping. When? Blow it away! What? So hold on, your technique is terrible. It wasn't really a burp though, it didn't, it like... It came and it went. It came and it went. It was more like, um... Uh, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Stuart is three years old. Is that, now how many years is that in dog years? Um, now, that was he's, aggressive. He's 21. <laughs> yeah, thanks bud. Kinda smells like he's been licking his butt a little bit. Probably. But that's what dogs do. Yeah, sit. I can't fault you for that. How many walks a day? We take like three or four. Oh, a that's a, what a good mommy. Oh, boring. Sorry, we're so, we're so boring to you. No. Oh. oh. Who do you think it is? I don't know. Could it be like- Broadway's a, calling. Oh. oh no, it's my mom. <laughs> Mama. Hi, where are you? Um, I'm filming a video blog and you're on speakerphone. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Hey, last one. Queen mom. She calls herself the queen mom. Queen mom. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The queen mom. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm loyal also. Now, did you, did, is this because your daughter refers to herself as the queen? Mm -hmm. Exactly. I appreciate that you don't try and scold her from that kind of royalty behavior, oh, yeah. but you encourage it. No. Did you know you had a star when she was singing with cows? Basically, yes. Um, every audition I took her to, they would look in the back and they'd you, come to the front. So she was upstaging people from an early age, is what you're saying? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> There was like a really weird man that came up to me that was like asking me about all the kids and I tweeted like, if you're an adult asking me about the kids, you're going to creep me out. <laughs> <So> <laughs> Which is normal, I think, of what you were to say. Yes, but yes. it was like, I, it's fine to be an adult fan of Matilda. We love adult fans, but this girl went on a rampage. She's like, Leslie hates the adult fans. Oh God, you, like, you just I, can't do you anything. You can't win, you can't win. But they are creep creepers out there that we really are trying to like keep the kids. I feel like there's probably like a site of creeps who are like, Leslie Margarita has a problem with us creeps, apparently. I'm <laughs> Why, sure there is. Can we get some creep sensitivity, please? I'm sure us there creeps. Is. If you could change your demographic of fans to one of the following two, okay. which would it be? Elderly men in assisted living or like a motorcycle gang. Motorcycle gang. Have you ever ridden a horse? I am so afraid of them. Oh. I'm so afraid of them. Because of, of light in the piazza, you're, you're afraid they'll kick you in the head? <laughs> And then you'll lose oh, a brain. horse! I thought you were. I thought that was like the lingo for a motorcycle. <laughs> oh, horses! I love. <laughs> Who am I to have slang for a motorcycle? I, I, no, motorcycles scare me. Horses, I love. <laughs> have you had to stage kiss many guys? Um, yeah, but I'm not like I'm never the you know romantic lead. Oh, so I'm so you haven't had to do much. I'm usually the one that gets like raped. <laughs> So upsetting, and here we are laughing about it. killed. <laughs> Even better. No, I don't have to do it much. It's never sexy. When you were in high school, was there, was there stage kissing when you would do shows? Yes, but it was always with like people I went into. Because for me, in high school, I had a blast. Oh, I'm sure. As yeah, a dude, as, as like, a dude yeah. in, in musical theater in high school, yeah. I was slipping tongue oh, left and right. Oh my God. Leslie. See, I would have grabbed your nuts and twisted. <laughs> In you high know school, it, oh yeah. I was the homecoming queen. I would have ripped your balls off. <laughs> I love wigs and fake hair. You do? Yeah, I've got like at least 40. In your possession in this apartment? Yeah. Like I don't have any in right now. This right. is all my this hair. Is, this is all real. But if I'm going to an audition. Real. Oh God! <laughs> Staten Island hair <laughs> was just about to punch me in the face. But if I'm like going to an audition or, or a concert or whatever, then I will put hair in or sometimes I'll wear a full like wig. I know, there are many uh, black women, women of African-American descent I know, all that of, love to do that as well. All of my hair comes from black lady sites. But what are the names of those websites? Ebonic Hair. Stop. Diva, Stop. Diva Tress is my favorite. <laughs> but this one I have to send back because they sent me the wrong color. Yeah, and which site? Is that from Ebonic Women? Oh, this is from Buy Wig and Hair. I think we know we can't order from them anymore, yeah. Leslie. How's the customer service with these websites? Not great. That's a whole lot of drama you gotta deal with when you're in the wig game like it's Leslie is. But I rarely have my own hair and clothes like this. It's just yes. for you. Oh, I consider myself <laughs> lucky to be getting this side of Leslie. The side that she does not care about as much, it seems. Because she, you know, it's kind of easy, it's relaxed. Leslie Margarita, yay! yay! Let's oh. talk about that. If you guys could do any drug right now, oh. what would it be? Um, what do kids call it? I would try the mustard. What does it do to you? What does it make you feel? 